you're just supposed to wait, right? So I waited a little bit. So hey everybody, Aaron Stewart from The Little Black Couch. Welcome to the show. It's a real quick one today because I am supposed to pick up pizza and it's been ordered and it's supposed to be done in 20 minutes, right? So I don't have much time, but so we've been doing a lot of fun stuff, uh, getting ready for our launch. And I came across something that it's always bothered me especially um, not one who has ever really used active campaign but hopefully it'll help you so a little training today very quickly but let's jump into it do you love entrepreneurship i do i have been researching and living entrepreneurship for the last 30 years and i believe entrepreneurship is the most efficient method to solve world problems and I am passionate about helping those who dare to dream find solutions to these problems as they learn to live their definition of success. Hi, my name is Aaron Stewart and I am so glad you have joined us today. And I welcome you now to The Little Black Couch, a journey in entrepreneurship. Oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. So how cool is this? So I used to have this look, sort of like weird green stuff that I just kind of pasted on my window. You can see that the level oars have been pulled off. My sweet mom went out and decided to take care of her little boy who, eh, little is probably pushing it, but she went out and bought me some green felt, which we put up into the window. I still have to adjust it a little bit, but hey, isn't that nice? So like the whole window is now covered. Look. I need a little work over there. But anyway, thanks, Mama. Thanks for the help. Uh, she's always taking care of her boy. So, okay, so real quick with some training. I know it's been a long time since anybody's seen Buddy, so I want to bring him in. It is coat season now, and we have been working like absolute tornadoes around here. But there's my coat. It is it's coat weather, which which really stinketh. But so what I want to do really quickly is there is and I don't know how everybody feels about that, but how feels about this. But when I get like an email from somebody and it's and they're asking not from somebody, but when I sign up for an email list and then I get like the confirmation, like from Active Campaign, kind of the two part. And I I love I love the two part. Don't get me wrong. I I don't, I don't understand why you keep anybody on your on your email list who isn't at least shown some sort of interest, right? So if they're not willing to do a, a two step to confirm into your list, then, I, you know, buy. Because, I mean, you have to now pay for every little seat, right, how things are working nowadays. So you've got to be really careful managing your list. And if you believe that you, you know, if, if, if you really believe that they aren't going to click that second time to be on your list and just kind of confirm it, um, then you, you didn't make a very good offer, right? Then we don't have a good offer. If they won't click for you twice, Offer wasn't made well enough. And so this is a good way to sort of tell if how good your offer was. But this, um, what I'm working on right now, isn't necessarily offer. This is the emails that go out after they've purchased. And so something that's always bothered me, especially from Active Campaign, is one that's interesting because they said they have a, you know, they they love the two-step confirmation. And they sent out a very, it's it's just very out-of-the-box, clunky, kind of ugly email that they send out. And so, and it usually doesn't fit in. Like if you've named the list funny or whatever, it reads poorly, it looks unprofessional, and it just, I mean, you just know you've been basically hosed by some sort of out of the box software system. Not hosed, but you know that those on the other side either don't know what they're doing or they don't care enough to fix it, right? So I wanted to show you really quickly, it's not easy in active campaign. So I'm gonna to go to my screen real quick, which is that one, okay. And, no, that's not the right one. It is, which one is it? Where are you, screen? Oh, no, it was, I, I changed the screen. There it is, yay. Okay, so, oops, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, folks, I'm very unprepared. Okay, so this is my active campaign account. I'm logged in. So these emails, uh, when you set up an automation, these emails come blowing out of your automations tag, right? So I, I will say, I, active, active campaign, I've been a um, convert kit guy for a long time. Active campaign is just way better. I mean, as far as the automation and the things that you can do with it, 
and and how systematic and it just is easier if you're a systems guy or uh, somebody who enjoys processes this just makes sense i mean this is somebody who enjoys automations and processes you know gets this okay so you want to in in my particular case i have this automation going out that sends out a form that helps people with their onboarding to help us to get their account set up and so this part of this this um it, it's strange to me where they kind of hid this email. So if you go to your forms link here, which I've kind of covered here, forms, and I've got just three forms here. I'm gonna go, let's go look at the demo form really quick. And we're gonna edit it. And we go up into options. So it, that was too fast, wasn't it? I apologize. Okay, so if you go, if you grab a form here, okay, so these are forms that are going out that you want people to fill out to kind of help them, right? It could be, they're subscribing to emails, they're getting off of email lists, um, you've got different products, different deliverables, you need to onboard them with some information, you've got a survey, whatever. So you've built a form. And then you want to make sure, even when you do a form, you send it out, you know, you want to do the two-step confirmation. So if you go to where your form is and you grab over here, I'm sorry, you click edit to open up the form, and then you go to options. And then down here, this is where it gets sort of weird. You've got, you know, you can add a tag and you can do different things. But this email results, if you click on this, this is where it's, it's a very interesting process. Um, that, I just think that it is so, so strange uh, how this all works. So if we go to email options... You want, I'm going to go, this one's not a good one. Let's go back here to mine. We're just going to show you mine. I don't, it's not necessarily what you want to do, but let's do it. Okay. So um, I have email results right there. Options. Boom. Okay. So if you open up, so I've got subscribe to a list, right? So I've got that as one of the actions. And anytime you have a subscribe to a list, you then have a two-step if you want to have it. You can turn it off, but I would recommend that you don't turn it off just to keep your list clean. Um, this subscribe to a list here in this particular form, if I click on the little gear here, it will bring up the screen and edit form action. So you think to yourself, oh, it's just an action form, whatever. But right here, I've got opt-in confirmation turned on, and then it's got this ability to preview and edit. So if I click on this preview, it will bring up what I've based, I've created this new email now that is a little different, that is obviously looks different. And I've gone in and, and you're able to then change how this all, let me edit it. You're able to go in and change. It's somewhat rudimentary. The GUI is somewhat rudimentary, but it gets the job done. Why isn't that little guy working there? We're going to repair this while we're here. I like to put in my little circle there. So there, that's better. Okay. So that is my little email. What's really cool about Active Campaign? They've got a really a lot of cool things, but you can actually put in a link to give them the ability to open up and modify their subscription. Modify, you can use Active Campaign as a CRM. And that's what we've started to do. It's really very cool, very functional. But that's how you do it. It's kind of in a weird place. If you choose in your automations, if you choose to have a follow-up in your follow-up sequence, one of the actions is to do a, a two-step opt-in, then this is that is where you're able to go and fix it. Again, it's under options. And then you've got subscribe email. It's under email results. Ooh, I did it again. It's under, um, there it is, subscribe to a list. If that's turned on, then it's right here. Opt-in email. This is where you can edit it and change it and get it away from that ugly green button. The, the text that's just so clunky and whatever. They are out of Europe. I don't know. So it just doesn't seem very professional to me. So hopefully that's helpful. We'll go done out of here. The default is quite, I mean, it's quite atrocious. Let's see here if we can find. Let's go back out of here. Let me see how this one looks. We'll edit this one. Options. Add an action. I'll just add one here so you can kind of see email results. Let's do it again. Let's do email results. Subscribe to a list. Select list. We'll just do this one. I'm going to turn on op 
Okay, so this will give you an idea. So this is the standard preview uh, hideous. Um, come on. There it is, right? Everybody has seen this disaster, right? Thank you for subscribing to, and then the list name gets put in there. So if you put some crazy name of your list, it just comes across super unprofessional in my opinion. But anyway, this is how you can go in. You can edit it. You can add it. I mean, you can edit the HTML. I mean, it's actually pretty cool how functional it all is. So hopefully that's helpful to somebody. Definitely do the, definitely go when you're, when you're doing any of this, you want to make sure that you select the opt-in. I think that that's just a good way to go to keep your list clean. And if you're using active campaign, you find it right here under subscribe to a list, turn on your opt-in confirmation, and then you can edit and preview right here. So took me a while to find it. Hopefully it saves you some time. Some time. Until next time, tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll see you all later. Thank you from the Little Black Couch. As entrepreneurs, let's go change the world. Kick some tail. It's totally pitch black. I'm out of here. See ya. Hey, everyone. I want to really thank you so much for joining me on your entrepreneurship journey. If there's anything you learned today or if there is a topic you would like me to discuss in the future, I would really love to hear from you. I do have a favor to ask. Would you please subscribe to our podcast or Facebook page and please like, share, and use the hashtag TheLittleBlackCouch. It would really help get this message out and hopefully help more people like us. Now let's get out and change the world together.